Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with and every single one of you guys. This got to be addressed now because this is getting ridiculous. Matter of fact, it's been past ridiculous. I wasn't going to say anything at first about the whole Nipsey Hustle situation. Now, yes, condolences to the family, to the loved ones of Nipsey Hustle behind his murder. I, I'm not a heartless person behind that. My issue is this. The level of idolatry that is being put up here now. Seeing pictures of Tupac in heaven putting a coat of white on Nipsey Hussle like they both made it into heaven. Seeing pictures of Pac and Biggie <clears throat> welcoming Nipsey Hussle into heaven. Talking about Jesus died at 33 and Nipsey died at 33 like they're saying that he's basically reached that status now. People fasting in the name of Nipsey, not in the name of Jesus, the name of Nipsey. And some folks will say, well, he was a, a health guy. And while that may or may not be true, still, why are you doing it in the name, in memory of, versus just saying, you know what? I want to do something healthy. Let me just do it like this. Or if you're about what we're about in the name of the Lord, let me fast so I can go deeper in the Lord Jesus Christ. Idolatry, <clears throat> excuse me. Idolatry in the book of Exodus chapter 20 is one of the chief sins that is mentioned in the Ten Commandments that the Lord is definitely against. And if you think that, okay, we ain't got to do with the old law, it's brought up as far as like idolatry throughout the word. The consequences of idolatry, I mean, not just in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament as well. When we uplift somebody to an idolatrous status is very dangerous because God is a jealous God. Jesus Christ is a jealous God. Don't get me wrong again. I do feel sympathy for those who have lost loved ones, especially the gun violence. I've had family members, I've had friends that died to gun violence. So I definitely understand the frustration and the pain behind it. But when we're getting to the status, when we're uplifting people, whether alive or dead, to idolatrous status, that's when the concern comes out. That's when we need to take time to pause and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. How does my Lord and Savior feel about this? Now, there's going to be those, I know that don't just click in the wolf folks are going to look at this video and they're just going to try to go in on me. And they're going to try to just say everything they can to justify Nipsey. Well, he was a good person. Uh, he did things in the community and this, that, and the other. And while those things are good, the question is, whether they're good or bad, we shouldn't be doing things in the name of this person. As far as like, for an example, Lord willing, I live to see a longer age unless the Lord called me home. No matter what, I wouldn't want nobody saying, well... Chavis love chocolate chip cookies, so I'm going to eat this chocolate chip cookie in the name of Chavis Greenard. No, <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't want that. I would rather have the name of Jesus uplifted versus people trying to uplift me. <sighs> I, I got to take deep breaths because this is mind numbing. This is mind numbing. Again, I don't hate the man. I don't hate Nipsey Hussle. But the evidence of his life all the way up to death shows that he didn't live a holy life. He was never about Jesus. He didn't want Jesus all the way in because if he did, his fruits would reflect that. He was still putting out music that was degrading. He was still putting out music that was against what God preaches on. He was still putting out things that God would look at us and say, don't you listen to that. Don't you listen to that. Jesus himself wouldn't welcome that music into heaven. And people that say, oh, you're judging, you're judging. Read the word of God and compare everything that God says will get in and what won't get in. And then when you compare Nipsey's lyrics to that, you tell me again whether Nipsey made it. Oh, he ain't got a heaven or a hell to put him in. I can hear them say that now. I can read, I can literally see them read, typing that in as they're looking at the comments. Uh, understand something. Good words don't get you into heaven. 
Even the evil will do charitable acts to make themselves look good, but behind closed doors, they got wicked intentions. Understand that God wants more from us than just doing good deeds. Walking in the Lord Jesus Christ, seeking his will, repenting of sin, turn away from darkness and being of him. Fully walking in the Lord. That's what he desires. Doing charitable work is a beautiful thing. Doing work in the, communi in the community is a beautiful thing. Turning people away from gang life is a beautiful thing. Helping out the homeless is a beautiful thing. Helping out people in general is a beautiful thing. But what Jesus wants above all of that is your mind, heart, body, soul, and spirit, and strength linked to him. So no matter what you do, you're a branch. And without the vine, you can do nothing. So again, I'm saying this out of the love of Christ. Out of the love of Jesus. Let's repent of idolatry. Let's pray for one another. Let's draw souls unto Christ. Because the most important thing isn't doing the good work so that we can appear good. It's living a holy life so we hear, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Again, I'm shaking my head. I know the wolf folks are going to come for me. <laughs> I know the lukewarm are going to come for me. I know those who profess Jesus and yet don't live a life of Jesus Christ is going to come for me. It's understandable. I know that they're going to come. But the word of God is still the word of God. The truth is still the truth. Repent of idolatry because Jesus Christ is coming. Turn away from sin. Turn away from darkness. Turn away from putting up idols. Throw away your idols. And follow the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God bless.